Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I'm using the iPhone XS rear camera today. I've got it on 4K, 60 frames per second. I've never recorded in this format before. I have no idea what the quality is like because I can't really see it because the screen's facing the mirror. But I'm going to do the best I can and just see what the, the quality is like all up. I'll probably still stick to the front facing 1080p, but it's just a little bit of a challenge and just see how it goes. So I'm going to be using Flamingo Trans, Flamingo Trance from Lather Bros. Oh, I can see that moving on the camera, it looks amazing. Lovely labels, the new updated labels from Lather Bros. The only thing I will say is they are two different colours. Not that that matters, but this label's a lot bluer, this one's a little bit more aqua sort of green, but it doesn't matter. The scent on these. Oh, now, this is a tropical bay rum. I don't get any real sort of bay rum from it. There's no bay rum it scent whatsoever for my nose, but it is a beautiful tropical sort of scent, fruity. So I suppose in a sense it's a completely different type of beer on, tropical. It's four ounces of salt, your ingredients are in there. That's, hopefully you can see, you can pause that if you want to have a look. This is the updated formula from Lather Bros. The previous formula was excellent, but the updated formula is better, definitely. The brush for today is, I picked this brush in particular for the 4K, is the Envy Shave. Abalone brush. Look at that colour. Absolutely stunning. It's a stunning brush. It's got a 25mm black wolf knot. Almost like a sort of hybrid between a fan and an ultra fan. And it's just lovely. Now this one was actually sent out to, I sent it to Milton over at Turn and Shave. And he very, very kindly repolished it up for me because there was quite a lot of scratches and scuff marks and things on it and it looks absolutely brand new. So, Milton, thank you very much once again, mate. I'm sure Nathan over at, I think it's Nathan, yeah, Nathan over at MB Shave will be happy to see his brush sort of reinvigorated again to what it was when he first made it. So, I'm gonna get a good load into this, create an amazing ladder, and hopefully showcase the quality of the camera. I have been literally blown away by the front-facing camera on this iPhone. Really, really impressed with it. And the next thing will be is, I'm not sure whether this will actually record sort of more than 10 minutes on 4K, 60 frames per second. I don't know whether there's a time on it. You guys that have your substandard Samsungs and things like that, generally don't record more than five or 10 minutes of 4K. iPhone, however, in the previous, ver <coughs> previous version, on my iPhone 7 on 4K, I could record as long as I wanted. So I'm assuming it's going to be the same. In terms of microphone quality, I'm not quite sure yet. So here we go. Loaded brush, ready to rock and roll. And let's paint it on, I'll just wet my face. My daughter had her performance last night which coincided with the Manchester United and Chelsea game as well. And my daughter danced beautifully last night. First time I've seen her actually dance as sort of almost a solo part. She was the lead role in one of the dances, the drum dance. And then I managed to catch Manchester United go 2-1 up against Chelsea at the interval. But obviously if you guys watched it, or you Man United supporters or Chelsea supporters, you'll know the game finished 2-2 in the 96th minute, which was a bit of a boot in the balls for me when I came out. But Thankfully my daughter danced beautifully and that cheered me up enough. So all I'm doing here, dip the tips, paint in the water. My usual lathering technique. It's got quite a wide field of view actually, I'm quite surprised how much more it picks up this camera than the iPhone 7. So I'm quite happy with that. So the rear facing camera does pick up more. Is it worthwhile doing a shaving video in 4K? Not really. Maybe for hardware reviews where you want to get in nice and close to some polished stainless or chroming or like this brush handle or something like that. Maybe it'd be a bit nicer. Right, one more dip I think. Oh, that was a big one. Pretty much what I'm looking for. 
translucent all the way across, and then you can just play the brush. And away you go. Beautiful scent. Scent strength's a good five to a six, maybe a bit more. You smell it through the whole shave. It's very fruit forward. Throwing everywhere. It smells very much like a sort of tropical punch sort of scent. Very, in my, to my nose anyway, in my memory, because I don't think I've got it, I don't have it in the den anymore, I'm pretty sure I don't. Very similar to Life's a Beach. Now I haven't dipped the tips since, so there's no more water been added to this. And I think it's going to be pretty much spot on. One of my favourite brushes, one of my favourite handles, one of my favourite knots. Absolutely stunning. Let's see how thick that is. Right, carved razor, Christopher Bradley razor. And I have got the C plate on here. This is the three inch handle. And as I keep saying, this will always have the C plate on it. I don't think I'll use any other plate on this handle. I've got, and you can see the blade sticking out the side there, but I've got the persona. Made in Glasgow blade, vintage blade. Gold dot, I think this is its seventh or eighth use. Let's get just get stuck in. Super smooth. Like the wife's having a lovely conversation with her daughter this morning. So even after you have a good performance, <laughs> you can still be a little shit. She lost her travel card over in WA in Western Australia. We use a one of our train systems and bus system. We use a, a tag on tag off method, which like a, it's almost like a credit card sort of idea. So you load up your card. You tag on and off. My daughter lost her card, and as a result, we had to purchase tickets for her. So she lost the pocket money. Right, we'll have a number two. Right, across the green. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, 4K at 60 frames per second. You've never seen ugly. So defined. Beautiful. It's funny now that I'm comparing all these soaps residually slickness wise to the vintage Old Spice, which is incredibly slick. Just dip the tips. the green again, other way. Last night we had an incident on one of the trains. I wasn't working last night, of course, but two transit officers were attacked and stabbed. It's a risk that we take every single day we go to work. We're not protected in terms of accoutrements the same as the police are. In general, we still deal with the same sort of people. There's, yeah, there's just no need for it. I think the, the offender is a 17 year old. Don't know who it was, obviously, for legal reasons under the age of 18. But a 17 year old who took it upon himself to stand through transit office is a, a tremendously great person. The officers have been in hospital and been released and have found, obviously, mentally. Physically scanned for life. Beautiful. Now granted, I'm sure you guys don't want to see my 4K back and shoulders. But I can be asked better sure. Okay, rinse the brush out there. Let the post shave take its place, let my skin dry off and see what it feels like. And we'll move on to the palm and then I'll see you later.
So that's all flipped down now. You can see the knot is pretty, very, very uniform. So just try the handle off and then just give it a good whack about on the tail, on the tips. And then it should look pretty much like it did in the beginning when it's dry. Just like that. Absolutely stunning. Right, so the soap for today, in fact, you know what, let me have a feel. Post shave is extremely moisturised. It's not a, a silky smooth moisturising like Wickham give you. It's actually quite tacky. So the moisture is definitely there. Very close, very comfortable shave, which we shall finish off now with Lather Bros Flamingo Trance Tropical Bay Rum Balm, which is thick stuff. So I find with Lather Bros you don't need a lot. Tiny little bit like that. Let's see what that focus is like. It's pretty impressive. So a lot of almost I think it's cinnamon. I think it's cinnamon, it's not clove. It might be clove. There's a lot of cinnamon and clove in this barn. So it's oh, very, very nice. And then the, the menthol kicks in. There's always a good kick of menthol in these bombs. Yeah, menthol, good old stuff. There is the ingredients list for the balm itself. You can pause that and have a read. We'll rinse out the soap. Uh, the lather bros have really upped the game with the packaging and with the soap base. The balms feel very similar to the did before. I can tell the difference in the soap base of both, but not so much the balms. So I don't know whether they've changed them much or if at all. And this shave was done with Flamingo Trans from Lather Bros. Absolutely stunning scent. It really is, really nice. Great scent strength, great scent all up. It is four ounces of soap. The tubs don't look like they're full much. There's a bit of weight in here. That's it all cleaned out. The brush, as you've seen in this beautiful 4K glory, is the Envy Shave Avalone brush. With a sort of aqua pearl on the top. Absolutely stunning. 25mm black wolf, so a hybrid fan between a cross and an ultra fan, between a fan and an ultra fan, sorry. Really, really nice brush. The razor was the car of Christopher Bradley razor, which is absolutely superb. And the Persona Gold Dot Vintage Glaswegian made blade, made in Glasgow many, many years ago. Just double check, actually, I think I've got the dots to the bottom on this. Two, four, six, so this was the eighth shave and the Persona Vintage, and it's still super smooth. Vintage blades are excellent blades, I can't shoot them down at all. <coughs> and finished off today with Flamingo Trans Aftershave Balm. Absolutely super, what an incredibly efficient, lovely shave. Skin feels incredible. Starting to look nice again, starting to get rid of all these little bits and stuff that were hanging about after my beard. And other than that, hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.